Welcome back to another Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're going to do some fun stuff. A drone which well just follows you and does nothing. I will do an advanced video where it reacts to enemies and turns around and does a little bit more than that. But here this is just one which is following you. So if you want to copy that because you've seen that let's say in a game like Risk of Rain which is great by the way. Stay tuned. This is one up indie. I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Source and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you're new here and you want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I upload every day a video. So let's get right into the code, which is quite simple. Let's well destroy everything because we don't want to show it for now. For that you just need one drone, which is just one object and you can reuse it for multiple objects you want to follow and therefore we want to follow something so that's why we need in our create event of our drone here a id which we want to follow and then we start give it to no one because well, we are not following any id but of course you can directly say object player um, something like this but I wouldn't recommend it because well you want to use it for multiple objects and then you spawn it and then it will follow this one so here first of all our ID and then two distance variables what are they good for well basically you don't want to follow directly on the X and Y position of the uh, well of the object you want to follow but maybe with some distance I don't know let's say 30 pixels no, what was it? Minus 25 or something. But here, you just set it to zero. And then once we create that object, those two variables will be a different, uh, well, kind of a buffer between X and Y additionally. So, and then the last variable, which we need for our lerp function, which I just call how much to stick to or whatever you can call you can call it whatever this is a percentage value between between um, two values which is your original x and y of the drone and then the one we want to follow and there we just control it with this little variable which we will be uh, well creating as well so let's get into the more interesting stuff how can we actually follow so here no 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 we just go and do an if clause so we say all right are we following one instance so are we having an id which we want to follow so one instance here then we just do a code like this and i will just explain it because it's not too difficult first of all we just say all right let's update your x position between well the x you're already having and then the id and the ids X position. So basically we have like wh where I am now and where I want to go. And here, of course, because it's X, we want to go for an additional, well, X value. So for example, if your player is here and you want to draw to be a little bit above here, you just go a minus Y and minus X and those kind of values are, well, this X and Y, which we just add. So then in the end, we just control it how much we want to go from this value to this value with a variable which I just discussed how much to stick to or how much to stick so basically this is a percentage value between zero so zero would be always on its original exposition so it's not moving at all and this one if it would be one directly following and we want to we want to well lurk between those two so it looks smoother which you saw on the screen and then of course we can do the same stuff for the y position so let's go in here bam and this is basically the same update your y with the original y and then the one you want to follow plus the buffer or the extra y and how much again this is basically the code from the drone we can just instantly kill it because we don't need it and let's go into my little player here and then this stuff above here you can completely forget because we don't need that so what are we doing well basically we are just making a variable var drawn because we just needed once then we discard it that's why I do a var and then we create the instance on the X and Y position which is gonna get updated anyway then on your layer and then what we actually want to create the drone 
and because we stored in our drone variable well all the stuff which is controlling the drone we can do some stuff and basically well the same which we are having here so those four variables which just can we can just copy paste them bam bam because well we are lazy at least i am lazy and i want to just stick them here so let's do that very quickly bam bam uh, um, drone point point and here we go and we already did our work here so this is already finished and here what we want to follow well the id which well created it and we get the id from the object player so basically we just started here but of course we can assign it whatever you like but this would make sense in the creative and then here we just say well yeah we can go for zero in here minus 25 and then let's say how much we want to stick to and i had a specific value because i want it to be quite small and don't be discouraged because what that's just i don't know five percent that's very low but if you do it well higher it will very very quickly go to its direction where it wants to go and then it doesn't look like it's kind of following so or trying to follow up and let's start that thing because everything is already set it up bam 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 here we go we have our drone and it's trying to follow us as you can see it if the movement is very very fast it cannot follow co completely but it will always try and the good part is for example if you are well, escaping way too much at some point it will catch up anyway so this is the good part about having a drone it will always stay at your side hopefully that was of interest to you and the code wasn't too overwhelming because I think it's quite easy. And stay tuned for the next tutorial. Have a good one. Wanna be?